freshly showered because I kind of kind of smelled bad. Kind of get get that taken care of. <laughs> Was Velocity Girl a bit of a reaction against the stuff that's sort of big in, uh, in Washington? Not really, it's just what came naturally to us. Yeah, I think a lot of people have this idea that because bands like us, Tsunami and Unrest, weren't doing hardcore that we were rebelling against it or something. I just, we were interested in different music. Right. Although I, 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 most of us in the band are interested in Fugazi and Scream right. and all that stuff and listen to it. We just wanted to do something different. Right. There was never a a competition or an animosity in right. Washington about it. Thanks for, thanks for dropping in. I'm gonna do um, something different this time. This is just a vinyl collection video of, of um, for Velocity Girl. I'm just gonna show the Velocity Girl that I have on vinyl. It's gonna be just the LPs and then a handful of singles. I don't have, I don't even have close to all the singles. I have, they released the last singles. Um, I originally, I actually, I've already started this and then just abandoned it because I was going on and on about Black Tambourine, um, Big Jesus Trash Can, High Back Chair. I was talking about all this stuff connected and I, it was it was out of hand. I'm just showing, I'm just gonna show some, some Velocity Roll. Vinyl records today, that's all I'm gonna do and then I'll, I'll share some things uh, along the way. That's also, I keep forgetting to, to say anything. <laughs> um, yeah, so the Velocity Girls, they're from the DC area uh, and they were active between 1989 and 1996. Two different singers, Bridget Cross before she went to Unrest was the lead singer just for like a year. And only on the first single, which I don't have on vinyl. Uh, and then Sarah Shannon took her place and then that for the rest of the, the life of the band. I'm just gonna show records. This is, the early, so I'm kind of going chronologically, not completely, because I'm gonna just, you'll see. But this is the earliest item I have of theirs on vinyl. I believe this was released in early 1992. And it's the single on Slumberland Records for the song, My Forgotten Favorite, backed with Why Should I Be Nice to You. Um, I think that this is the song, this, or this is the single that got them the attention of Sub Pop, who they would then sign with and were on for the vast majority of the, the band's lifetime. This is on, on Slumberland, which was founded by, definitely by Archie Moore of Velocity Girl and other members of DC area indie pop bands, possibly other members of Velocity Girl. I don't know exactly whom started Slumberland, but so a lot of their early singles were on Slumberland, including this one. This is, um, I think there's a couple different colored, uh, colored vinyl versions. This is just the standard delicious black vinyl edition. It has the Slumberland Records Fall 1992 catalog, which fits on this, um, this sheet of paper. And it's chock full of winners. And the singles are $3.50, LPs are $8, and CDs are $9. Show you the label. I 
can't figure out what this is, what this picture is on the back side, but anyway. So this, like the first album, which I'm about to show, has a lot of um, shoegaze influence. It, it, it exhibits a lot of shoegaze influences, you know, bit with the buried vocal. Um, yeah. Okay, so 1993, on Sub Pop, they released their debut album, which is called Copacetic. I wish, um, I really want to have them on the lookout for an upgraded copy of this, and they just don't show up in the United States. And I don't know if they're ever gonna reissue this. Anyway, so like I was saying, this, um, this has a lot of shoegaze influence. Uh, like some of the reviews at the time of its release called it like um, the Shirelles meet My Bloody Valentine. Um, there were videos for two songs on here, Crazy Town and Audrey's Eyes. I feel like Audrey's Eyes was somewhat of an underground hit. <laughs> And um, it's on this color final. have 145 from this from a single from Copacetic. This is for the track Audrey's Eyes. Sub pop. It's back with the song Stupid Thing, which um I don't think I'm that fond of that uh, that B side. There's the, the vinyl. Fear. Then they turned around um, right away in 1994. They released their second record, their sophomore LP. Again on Sub Pop. This one's called Simpatico. Simpatico? On this record, they would s take a very big step away from the shoegaze tendencies of Copacetic of the debut album. And this is more of an indie pop record, but with still some aggressive, some some aggressive guitar and or louder guitar in parts. Um, yeah, it had again had a couple videos shot. One of I don't know if one or both of them were directed by Spike Jones, which got them probably more airplay than they otherwise would have. Just there was a lot of Spike Jones directed videos tended to get played on MTV and elsewhere. Anyway, videos for Sorry Again and I Can't Stop Smiling. For this record, um, I don't know if it, I think right around the time it came out or just as, it might've been right when it was coming out or right before it came out, they played a show that I saw just, you know, 
Remember we had to wait in line for a couple hours because it's a, it was like a 150 person venue, Seventh Street Entry, um, and it's sold out. And it was Sunny Day Real Estate opened. That was for, you know, for Diary. Um, it was a great show. There was, it, there was a very strange, like, like anticipation for, for them to come on. It, it's hard to explain. Uh, it was, it was a thing where the the show was sold out and everybody was there. Like, they really wanted to see Blasty Girl. That doesn't always happen. Um, trying to, I was trying to remember if that was the first show that I ever saw at the Seventh Street Entry. So I saw another sub pop show around the same. I might be getting this totally wrong. Like Tad, band Tad with Therapy. I think I saw right in that same time time frame. Anyway, that's my little story about the about Simpatico. This one's on black, uh, delicious black vine. I should be showing you the labels, huh? And again, I have one forty five from the from that album. For this, with the single from uh, For Sorry Again. And the B-side is Mars Pan, which I think is a, a great B-side. And this is also just on black vinyl. They released their third and final LP. This is, um, I don't think this was ever pressed in the United States. Maybe it was, but this is a UK press. The name of the album is Gilded Stars and Zealous Hearts. Um, this, is, this is fairly, I'd say this is a fairly widely panned album at the time of its release. And that, and ultimately they, they toured in 1996. Um, you know, this sound has, is again, it continues to go further away from the, from the early sound. I feel like they lost a lot of their early fans with the, when they broke away from that, the sound of that first record. Um, and this is kind of more, uh, almost like a power pop type of sound. Um, I remember, I don't think I mentioned, you know, that it's Sarah Shannon, so it's a female, female lead vocalist typically, but with the male um, harmony vocals, backing vocals, and occasionally male lead vocals. But I really am a fan of, like, I'm just such a fan of, 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 ha of having male and female vocals in, in a band. Um, if you were wondering, I just stick that in here. Um, no, I don't really remember what he's saying. Yeah, I saw them on this tour. They toured with the Posies and they played in a larger venue. So the, 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 the time I saw them was at First Avenue, which, you know, was 10 times, let's say 10 times as large as the venue that I saw them previously, something like that. That's probably a mild exaggeration. Nine times bigger, something like that. Um, yeah, so the Posies and Velocity Girl, and it was not a very well attended show. Um, I remember at the conclusion of the show, you know, they, they kind of play music and it's kind of like people dance. Um, 
and I briefly danced with, with Sarah Shannon at that show. That's really the most exciting thing I have to tell you in this entire video. <laughs> um, this is the unfortunate glitter vinyl, which is, if I can impart any wisdom on you, it's that glitter vinyl is not a great idea for if you actually want to listen to the record. record I do have one of the 45s. I'm trying to remember. There might have been two 45s as for singles released off of, uh, off of that album. So this is also a UK 45 for the song Nothing. B-side is Anatomy of a Gutless Wonder. And it's on red vinyl. And I was saying um, how this album or the that album that this came off of was widely panned. I still really like it. Um, you know, I, I would say my favorite album of the three is probably Simpatico, actually, but I like... Certainly the third album is my least favorite of the three. The first two being extremely strong for me. But um, I just listened to this a couple times this week to um, Gilded Stars, and it's... I like it. This still has the um, sub pop London asking you like, um, how do you generally find out about new releases? Please send me sub pop's mail order catalog. <laughs> Velocity Girl, specifically Velocity Girl vinyl on vinyl. I am going to show one other, I was gonna show other like peripherally or other related type things, but this is the only one that it is basically, it's three members of Velocity Girl after they broke up in 1996. You know, they did, um, they must have done a, Velocity Girl must have done an East Coast like farewell tour I've seen online because they, when I saw them in 1996, they weren't talking about how it was their last tour or whatever. But I had seen online, um, I'm pointing to my TV, I watched it there. <laughs> um, I've seen online where they do the cons, where they're, where they're actually saying like, we're probably gonna play out like every song, blah, 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 and, and how it's, they're going away. But anyway, so this is, right away, the following year, they, three of the members, Sarah, Jim, and Kelly, formed this group called Starry Eyes that I don't, I think they have a 45 and a CD, like a CD EP that has extra songs in this. I think that might be it. But this is the 45, Starry Eyes. And it's very, very much the, the progression of Velocity Girl. You know, it's still Sarah singing and three, you know, three of the five members. I think that um, Archie Moore was full-time with um, Heartworms at that time. So the songs on here, Disappearer, 
which I had not listened to this in a long time. But the song Disappear, I think is a really good song. The B-side is called Radio, it's good as well, as not as good, I don't think. And I think, I think Starry Eyes, the name of the band is from, um, from a song named after a song by the records, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe that, I could be wrong. What the hell do I know? <laughs> so starry eyes. And Velocity Girl, of course, is named after the, the Primal Scream song that was on the C86 comp. So that's, that's all I've got for you. Just kind of kind of whip through some Velocity Girl records. I'll try and stick some, some short sound clips in for stuff. You know, you know what the deal is. Appreciate you hanging out for this one. We'll um, get back to business as usual before you know it. Cheers.